In November of 2022, John Paul Miller and his wife Micah allegedly had a major argument that led to Micah going to her sister's house for a few days. According to Charlotte Korn, Micah's best friend, the argument started because John Paul allegedly asked his wife that if she were to kiss another woman, who would it be? Micah reluctantly answered Charlotte. This sent John Paul into a rage, suggesting that he is jealous of Charlotte, according to text messages between him, Charlotte, and Micah. So Micah left, went to her sister's house, and this made John Paul even more angry. And this led to the infamous text message that John Paul allegedly sent Sierra Francis, Micah's sister, where he said, I'm armed and ready. Now, thanks to a 911 call obtained by Fitz News, we hear even more alleged threats sent to Micah Miller and her family. Hi, I was calling. My name is Sierra Francis. I had spoke to an officer earlier today, um, and I didn't know, I guess, how to get back in touch with him and see if they could drive by and make sure there's not anybody outside. Okay. Where is your address at, Sudi? Yes, ma'am. What did you say was going on? Daphne. Um, I had called earlier and filed a police report with my sister about her spouse. He's saying he's going to come over and that he was threatening that he had a weapon with him. Yes, ma'am. Um, he said that he would be here at 1255. Um, GPS shows that he supposedly hasn't left um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, but he just texted her and said, you, be you better drive down the road now um, or I'm coming in. It's going to be hell to pay, like acting like he's outside. So we just want to verify that he's not. Okay. Yes, ma'am, that's my call back. 618-2632. Okay, and you just want um, an officer to come out and check the roads? Yeah, just make sure that he's not parked down at the street like he's acting like he is. Do you know what kind of car he would be in? Um, he has a few, but probably a, is it a red um, Dodge truck? Yes, he has a uh, red Dodge Ram. Or is Burgundy? Burgundy. Okay, call it the Challenger. Is that what it is? Oh, never mind. That should be the, the vehicle if he is out there. The Burgundy Dodge truck? Yes, ma'am. Bear with me just for a second, so we understand this information. Put it in here, okay? No problem. We just want to, we just want to verify. He said he's, um, he said he's texting her, threatening that he's going to kill himself. Yeah, he said my blood is going to be on your hands. But prior to that, he was threatening to come in here, and he said, call the cops, I don't care, I'm, I'm um, armed and ready. Okay. Which he is. He just purchased about six firearms in the past couple of days. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm. I can. I'm gonna send you a link um, to your phone if you wouldn't mind sending me uh, pictures of these text messages, just so we have them and our officers can take a look at them. Okay. Just give me a second, and I'll get that sent to you. Are and you, you said I'm sending this. Um, it's a link and. There'll be a couple things that they're going to ask you uh, once, once you get the link, and then you should be able to send us a couple pictures, okay? Okay. Do you want my sister to fill it out or, like, as the spouse? Um, it doesn't matter. Who or do we both need to do it? Um, it's not It's not like a paperwork or anything. It's just going to ask mm -hmm. you, like, the location. Like, um, it's going to ask you to verify your location. Um and then you can just send those pictures, and it will come straight to me, but the officers will also be able to see those pictures. Okay. Just let me know when you get that link, sweetie. Okay. How long has your sister been with you, sweetie? She just got here at 7.30, and she was supposed to stay until Tuesday. 
Um, she was supposed to meet him for a hot air balloon something in Asheville this this weekend, and it was supposed to be whatever, but now he's changing the locks on the house and all kinds of stuff, so he's going to throw all her stuff in the yard. And then since she said she wasn't coming home, he said that he was going to come here, and he didn't care if he called the cops. He was going to be ready. Okay. And I did get the email. So if you want me to start filling out while we're on the phone? Yeah, if you want to go ahead and do that, just, uh, just uh, I think it just asked for your location, and then you should be able to either take pictures of those, um, of like the text messages, or uh, you, sh you might be able to like screenshot them and upload them straight from your um, your phone that you're on now. Okay, I'm trying to just upload them. Yep. I don't know if it's going to let me. It wants me to take pictures of them, but I, I mean, I can't take pictures of my text. Um, is it, is it coming to your phone, or is she texting your phone, or is she texting your sister's phone? Both phones. He was texting me because she didn't answer. Okay. Um, but I can take pictures of her phone. That's um, fine. that's fine. You can do that. That's whatever. Whatever pictures you can send to me is helpful to the officer so they can see what he's been sending. It, it doesn't have to be all of them because, obviously, if an officer comes out there, um, you can talk to him and show them in person. But, like, it's also good that it just have them, um, like, in in our records that they they got sent. Here's Drive down the street or it's going to be held. What did she say? She's showing me the messages that I can send you. He texted her at 1224 and said, drive down the street or it's going to be hell. And then okay. this one says, why am I like that? I, would do I wouldn't do anything like that. My blood is on you and my kids will know. I was going to check it. Um, it's not letting me send the photos. Okay, what is what is your sister's phone number? I have a bunch of messages. Okay, I'm gonna send it to her and see if she gets it. It says one picture upload on my I do. I did just get. Yeah. No comments. He's not at the location that he was last at at 10 o'clock. We just have somebody go back and check. But his location on his phone says he's there. Yeah, but his location on his phone says that he's still there, and it has been saying that all day. Um, but I'm our gonna, friend just checked. I'm going to guess he probably turned off his location um, just as, like, a precaution so you guys can't track him. Um, what is his name? John. Um, dash Paul, that's his, like, first name, mm -hmm. and no middle name, last name Miller. And what is his address? Cold Water Circle. Cold Water Circle. Is that two Little words or is that one Island. word? Cold Water is one word and then circle. I did just get the picture. It's the one picture um, he sent me. Uh, That's the one I just heard. Go back to the other one. Drive down the street or something else. Can you give me his phone number? What is his phone number? All right. Okay. Is he, has he sent any more threatening text messages to you, sweetie? Or to your sister? You can open the last one. The, the last one he said um, was my blood. The, the last threatening type one is that my blood is on you at 1227. Okay, I got I it. I'm going to send it to this so that she can have the pictures that he sent me or the messages. 
What am I no, go, go to the message that she sent me with the link and take a picture of my phone because it won't let me send screenshots. It has to be photos. What's your sister's name, Rudy? Micah Miller, M-I-C-A, Miller. And what what is your phone number, sweetie, Micah? Yes. Give me just a second. I'm just. Hey, Michael, what county do you live in? Horry County. Okay, thank you. Here, if I get quiet, um, I'm just talking to our officers, okay? If, you, if he sends any more text messages, just let me know. Okay. Should I stop sending my, like, sharing my location with him? I mean, if you want to, it might cause more problems, but you haven't left the house that you're in. So I don't think, I don't know that it would be a problem, but if he stops sharing his location. What does he look like, Micah? <clears throat> he's 6'2", and he's a Caucasian, brown hair, brown eyes. He stopped sharing his location with me. So you said, excuse me, you said he's a white male, 6'2", brown hair, brown eyes. That's correct. What kind of build does he have? Uh, he's 200 pounds, slim. Okay. All right. <clears throat> My husband is the exact same, but he's in bed, just so you know. <laughs> I don't want the cops coming here, and then he, if he walks outside, they can attend, but he's in bed, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I've got that noted in here that he's asleep with your son. Is your son the okay. only child in the house? He is. I made sure before they went to bed they were in the same bed, so in case anything happens. What did you say um, you made sure what before they went to bed? I just made sure that both of them were in the same room in case anything does happen. That way we know exactly where everybody is at. Okay. Where are you guys at in the house? If you're looking at the house, we're on the far right end. Okay. Are you in a bedroom? We are. And then the far left side of the house is the, the other bedroom where the other people are. What is um, John Paul's date of birth, sweetie? May 20th, 1979. He's 43. You said 1979? Yes. I'm doing this. I'm just trying to and your, um, Sarah, your husband and son, they're on the opposite side of the house? Yes, ma'am. If you're looking at the house, they're far left. Okay. It's just a double wide trailer. And um, what's, your, what's your husband's name? Matthew Brown. Is that B-R-I-M-N? -M? Uh, first name Matthew, last name Brown. Brown. B-R-O-W-N. All right. Y'all don't hear anything outside and you haven't seen any lights um, or anything, have you? I haven't seen lights, but we have a lot of free-range chickens and ducks, so if it's noise out there, it's kind of hard to tell what it might be. And then my dog just had nine puppies, and they're all inside, and so it's kind of loud either way. Okay. 
I just wanted to make sorry. sure. No, it's okay. I just wanted to make sure you didn't hear any kind of. Um, yeah, I haven't heard anything abnormal. I guess it, I any kind of car or anything like loud or anything like that outside, but. No, not that we could see, but he was texting her to, like, drive down the road. So that's why we were like, if he parked outside, because my driveway's so long, and he probably is trying not to get hit with trespassing. Okay, I've got a couple officers on the way out there, sweetie. They're just, um, looking here. They shouldn't be too far. Uh, they were just coming from town. I believe they were both at the sheriff's office, but okay. I promise yeah. they're coming to you. Okay. And he hasn't texted anything else since? No. And ha you said he tra he's tried to call you? One time? Yeah, he, he tried calling, and then I didn't answer, so he didn't call after that. And I have a friend on the way to my house to see if he's at the house. Okay. Because he, he wasn't at the church, which she lives right by the church. And she's headed to our house, which is like seven minutes away from the church. Okay. What, do you know what kind, of car, what kind of car your friend is in? We've got... um the county that you live in on the phone trying to see if he... He drives a silver, like a kind of a charcoal uh, palisade. Okay. She could be driving her husband's car, though, which is a white if you cop light. Don't open the window. Hold on. Sorry. I'm so, no, I'm not trying to stop you. It's just habit. If somebody's pulling into your driveway and you open your window, they'll see exactly where you are. I mean, they're cops. I want them to see where you're safe. I know. Well, so the only room with lights on, so it's kind of obvious where we are. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's something that I'm so happy because I don't see anything like this. Okay, sweetie, if y'all hear anything, I've got my officers out there on Deer Ridge. They're going to take a look around. Do y'all want them to come up, up to the house and talk to you? Uh, they're in our driveway. Okay. If y'all want to go out there and talk to them, um, please go ahead and give them whatever information you have, okay? Okay. Um, are you going to get off the phone with us now? Um, I mean, I can stay on it if you want me to, but I've got two officers out there. Um, no, that's fine. They're on my porch. I can let you go and talk to them. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Thank you.